captain of the ship, so therefore I must delegate what is necessary. What's your thinking about the first contact, um, first open contact? Is it anywhere close? My people were chosen to do first contact, but it looks like there are many other species that want to uh, usurp that authority. They would rather it happen sooner rather than later. And if they do not go with the flow of how things are working on your planet, it could be disastrous. Mm -hmm. they think we are moving too slowly. So they, may, they have threatened to come early. The galactic government does not uh, condone this, but it may happen anyway. So I cannot really predict that because they are on their own schedules. As far as we are concerned with our plans for first contact, they are not yet able to happen because of all the political disruption. Do you see an economic collapse coming? Yes, but it has been pushed back several times by the cabal. But eventually it will not be able to be pushed any farther. How bad the collapse do you think will, is going to be? It will be rather severe. However, there are many people working on to, how to make it less severe. So at this point, it would only, it would be a collapse that would last for several months, of course. But the first month would be the worst. Transfer some of the money into gold or is it useless? No, that gold will always be valuable. But during the collapse portion, what, how will you spend it? There will be no way to use any kind of currency right away. Many people will be trading their home objects for food and for batteries and things of this nature. I would stock up on some food and things of that nature, perhaps, but there's really not much you can do uh, when it comes to financials. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about, um, how is Gurk Fitnir doing? Very well. We, are, we have many reports into the galactic uh, governments of how the earth is doing you uh, your timeline seems to be well intact at this time we weren't so sure about a month and a half ago a month ago I should say it was very shaky but now it is much better the thing is the timeline is one thing the collapse of other countries and things of that nature is another thing it would appear that Italy and Greece are very much on the edge. Um, all right. What about um, the timeline? Was it uh, really the break in the, in the matrix or was it more like just bad it events? It was in, in at the South, South Pole, Antarctica. A time machine exploded. It sent tachyons all through uh, the timeline and changed some things, but it was able to be cleaned up in time to maintain the timeline before another great event happened. If the tachyons would have remained in place too long, or as, as many as there were in place, it would have caused another explosion. Ah, I see. But as it is, things are not quite status quo, but much better than they were. <coughs> Is it, um, I'm recording, should I publish it or should I just keep it quiet? At this point, it does not matter. The, the explosion was top secret for a while and <coughs> many species were sent out of the solar system because of it because if they knew about it, they could cause many great problems to the earth if they were negative. But now that it has been resolved, it may be published. Oh, I see. What do you have with draconians? There is like lots of draconian energy in the air. There's lots of draconians that are making you think that they are, they are most numerous at this time. There are many draconians and many of them are sub 
uh, subterranean species on your planet. Some are from outer, the outer limits of this area, but they are not the rulers at this time, even though they were one of the original species, they were one of the original races, their great numbers are not on Earth at this time. Their great numbers are in Andromeda and in places beyond this galaxy. Um, are there also our ancestors? How much of draconian uh, genetics they, do we have? You have some of, they would claim that they are the earliest of the ancestors, and they are one of the earliest of the ancestors. But you must remember this. There are many others that have given uh, their DNA to this species as it was being seeded. They cannot claim to even look anything like humanity. So they are, um, their DNA was watered down over the millions of years that they have been here. And they are part of your DNA. It is part of who you are to be draconian, yes. But to call yourself a draconian or to identify with their ways would be uh, not right. Um, so what percentage of DNA, of draconian DNA is, is uh, to the average it's human still cell? relevant in humans? Yeah. It depends on the human, but the, that would be 6 to 8%. Uh-huh. Uh, would it include the reptilians or it's just draconians yeah, without reptilians? The reptilians would be a different... Actually, draconians and uh, reptilians are actually two different species. They've split off millions and millions of years ago. So they are, they are separate in how they developed and how they evolved. So they are actually a different kind of DNA, similar at some points, of course but not the same. And so a reptilian is also between uh, probably, an, it's even greater than draconian in some ways, in some people. In, in your population, it would be probably eight or 9%. Are there any human races which don't have draconian? There, is, there are a couple races in outer space. The Cure people, do have a touch of draconian, but not nearly as much as you do. They look very much like humans, except for they have a large brow, a unibrow, as you will, and they have smaller ears, but they look very human. And so they are descendants of yours, or you are descendants of theirs. Okay, uh, but I'm talking about Earth humans. Are there any Earth humans in space? No, in, in, on Earth. And what, are there any that don't have draconian? Yeah, any big races that don't there have are, draconian? There are, yes. The, the Asian species do have a high percentage of draconian in them, higher than any other species. Right. Um, but I would say the areas of native Indians ah. in your United States have the least amount of draconian. Okay. How about... Um, Scandinavians. Scandinavians are very Pleiadian, but right under Scandinavia is the white dragons or the white draconians. And so they are, I, they ha have been affected over the last 10,000 years by them. And so they still have draconian in them. Wow. I see. Okay. I think that's all I have. I'm running out of time. Thank you.